This is ESPL Boxing. Delighted to be joined by the host of the press conference today, Dev Sani. Um, Dev, really interesting press conference. I think you had to do a really good job to get people talking. What did you make of it all? No, I, I enjoyed it. I had my uh, I had my reservations heading into it because Artur Baturbiev yesterday had given largely one word answers. Um, there's a bit of a language barrier and there's a bit of a being interested barrier. He just wants to fight right now. So. Um, I know he just wanted to fight. I know uh, Yard just wants to fight as well. So um, I'm glad it went the way it did. Uh, and it, I've got some good feedback on it. So um, it feels like we, we created a few moments. That's all you can hope for in press conferences. Sometimes you can try and stir it up and try and get some beef. Um, even when they don't do it, but they sort of joke about it, it's still a moment. And you just want little moments to... Basically, you want Michael Benson to tweet it. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not, not not long to go now. Um, what, did you make anything of the fighter's appearance today? Obviously, the weigh-in is less than 24 hours now. Both got to make that championship weight of £175. Any any thoughts on that at all? Well, someone pointed out to me, someone with a more watchful eye than myself, pointed out that Anthony Yard was sipping away, he was drinking water, and Baturbiev wasn't. Um, so maybe Baturbiev struggling to make the weight? I don't know. I guess we, we'll probably find out a bit more tomorrow, but... I will point out that he has been a light heavyweight since 2013. Uh, in the amateurs, he boxed as a heavyweight, which is a cruiserweight um, in the pros. So he's a big, thick guy, boiling down to this weight and has been doing so for a long time. I can't imagine it will be easier trying to make the weight when you're thousands of miles away from home and maybe out of your normal routine. So uh, we'll see. Yeah. Just want to touch on the fight itself, Dev. Um, to be honest with you, it feels like a lot of fans, hardcore fans, a lot of people aren't giving Anthony Yard much of a chance in this fight. Um, what's your opinion? Any idea why it feels like he's being written off a bit, a bit too much? Well, look, I mean, that, that's fine. And um, they, they probably should, right? They're, they're doing it based on Artur Baturbiev being 18-0 with 18 knockouts, unifying the division, knocking out guys like Joe Smith, knocking out and retiring guys like Kvostik. He's the number one in the division. Anthony Yard's best win is probably Lyndon Arthur. So that's why the odds are the way they are. But everyone gets their first kill. Everyone gets their first catch. Anthony Yard nearly got his against Kovalev, and he believes he gets his, finally gets his on Saturday night. Great stuff. Not long to go to, and until we find out. I'm um, not going to go through the whole undercard, Dev, but just want to touch on Moses Atoma. Yeah. A lot of hype around him. Um, really looking forward to seeing him in action. We're still, only, we're still only in January now in 2023. What can we expect from him this year? Well, we already know he's going to fight in Telford uh, a couple of months later. So what we can, what we can expect um, is activity and what I hope to expect uh, are knockouts. So I want to see, look, people get excited about heavyweights when they're knocking fellas over. We'll find out if he can, you know, he should be able to do it as a pro. From everything that we've heard, he should be able to do it. But part one of the chapter um, of this journey is on Saturday night. I think he's something very, very special, and uh, I think he could be the future not just of British boxing, but of world boxing, and that is right alongside his brother. The Yatalma journey is going to go together. Carroll's fighting for his first title as well, and um, very exciting, very exciting. Two really cool guys. Really exciting stuff. Um, final question for me, Dev. Um, Tyson Fury did a very short interview with Sky over the weekend, said that an announcement regarding his next fight is imminent. Is there anything you can tell us? Can we expect any sort of announcement soon, do you think? I don't know, to be honest. I mean, I have to ask Tyson Fury. <laughs> no, I, don't, I, I don't know. I, I haven't heard anything, but I am hopeful. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Dev Sarni, thank you very much for your time. No worries. No worries. Thank you very much. Cheers.